Hey everybody, in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the barometric trend view on the Garmin Instinct 2 in the Suunto Core Original Classic Black. Now these watches are really totally different, but what I wanted to do in today's video is show you the barometric pressure between the two. On the Garmin Instinct, you can actually set a couple different data fields. I've actually got a watch face here that's showing my barometric pressure trend over the last 24 hours. This trend area that you're looking at can actually be changed if you don't want 24 hours. You can go from 6 hours all the way up to 48 hours. The other thing I'm showing is I've got this little arrow up here in the top. I've also got it down here in the bottom. That's showing your barometric pressure trend over the last 6 hours. And right now I've got a pretty stable uh, atmospheric pressure. It hasn't changed in the last 6 hours. That's why it's pointing basically straight. Up here at the top you can see your barometric pressure uh, itself. 1,029 hectopascals is what I'm currently at. So this is a watch face. You can keep it on here and you don't have to see anything else. If you wanted to go to the barometer though, I've got it set up and I'm going to go ahead and press the down button. We'll go take a look at the barometer. And the barometer is a little bit different because you've actually got a decimal point value. Again, you can see that trend. If I press the GPS button to go into the barometer, we can see again, kind of the same thing we saw on the watch face. What's been my high pressure? What's been my low pressure over the last 24 hours? And then this trend. The Cento Core is kind of the same way. You've got your barometric pressure trend arrow up here. They do a little bit better job because that arrow is really two different arrows. The first left half of it is six hours ago to three hours ago. And then from the middle to the left is the last three hours. And they kind of show that by putting a dot in the middle to show you that it's two different lines, whereas the Garmin puts it as one line. But that's what you're looking at as far as regular watch face. If you wanted to go into the barometer mode, simply press the mode button. And that's what your barometer view looks like. And it's pretty similar to what we saw on the watch face of the Garmin Instinct. When the watch face kicks us back, it'll basically look kind of like this. And then I thought I would just let it sit there for a while and do a time lapse and let you look at them. The cool thing about the uh, Cento Core is you can stay in the barometer as long as you want to versus the Garmin Instinct. While we're in the barometer after a couple of minutes, it will kick us back to the main watch face. The nice thing about the Garmin Instinct, however, is you get a lot more data with your barometer. For example, I can see my high and my low over the last 24 hours, whereas with the Suunto I can't. I can see my actual uh, atmospheric pressure and I can see the trend, but I don't have any high or low indications on the watch. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to leave these watches sitting here and I'm going to do a time lapse. Let's take a look at the barometric pressure as it ch changes throughout the day. Again, just so you can see what the uh, barometer looks like on both of these two watches. I hope the video helps. 